Hi everyone, this is James. I have a new video for you. It is called Rapture Passover or Second Passover. And I'm recording this video April the 20th, 2024. Okay, I will begin. Now, this is a screenshot I took from the Torah calendar. Now, this is showing you that it is Passover, but the Torah calendar had that incorrect. This is actually at the time of Purim. But I just wanted to show you kind of like a template here so you have Passover and then you have Passover day one and then you the Omer day count starts okay so one day and then the second day the Omer count starts so I'm going to show you that in, in the slides to come why that's important and if you take a look here this is when the Pharaoh released the Israelites okay and seven days later this is when Israel crosses the Red Sea on the seventh day so that is pretty interesting and you have again I've talked about this in several videos the 21 and 22 lining up with the very last verse in our Bibles the very last verse in the New Testament and you're going to see how this possible connection is very important in the slides to come so I'm going to continue now, again, I took this screenshot from the Torah calendar. Now, April the 23rd, they are saying it is the second Passover. That is actually incorrect. That is the actual Passover, okay? So that is Omer Day 28, they're saying. That is incorrect, too. Uh, if you take a look, April the 25th, that's actually when the Omer Day count would start, okay? Because this is the actual Passover. And in a moment, you're going to see how that could be significant. So let me continue. Now, I took this screenshot from the Torah calendar minus, I know there's a lot going on here, but there is a reason. Uh, I just want to show you here in a moment. Now, if you take a look, I adjusted the Omer days, the correct Omer days that link with these days. Now, you've got Omer day 18 is May 12th. Omer day 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, okay, and again, it continues here, I, some I did not include, but uh, again, Omer day 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31, and it goes all the way up to 38, well, it actually, go, Omer day, it goes up to Omer day 50, but I'm only going to show you up to Omer Day 38 in this slide. So let me show you something. Now the second Passover this year is May 23rd, 2024. Okay. Now this is falling on Omer Day 29. Now I've mentioned this many times in previous videos. That 29 means resurrection. Okay. Now I want to show you something else. Now I want to read Numbers chapter 9 verses 9 through 11. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If any man of you or of your posterity shall be unclean by reason of a dead body, or be in a journey afar off, yet he shall keep the Passover unto the Lord. The fourteenth day of the second month at even, they shall keep it and eat it with unleavened bread, bitter herbs. And I want to read Proverbs chapter 7, verses 19 through 20. For the good man is not at home. He is gone a long journey. He hath taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. Now, I want to show you a few things here that are very similar. Or be in a journey afar off. And you have good man is not at home. He has gone a long journey. Okay, so a far off, that would be like long. So that's very interesting. Now, it, this is the second part of my matrix. You have SOS, you got SAS, you got like an altar, like the second Passover. Okay, you're, you're bringing a sacrifice. Okay, so you have an altar there. You have, it looks like a basket or a bag, and it's got A on it. Now, A could mean possibly appointed. And then you've got, looks like a bird. Looks like it's going to fly away. 
and then you got 911 and look at this you got 911 now could this be the appointed day the second passover i don't know but i, I think it's very interesting and you're going to see 26 that's god's number okay you're going to see in that calendar okay you're going to see 26 a number of times and let me go back and i'll show you something else so if you take a look here you got may 20th okay and that's omer day 26 all right and then also for omer day 32 okay now 32 means covenant that's the meaning linked to it the biblical meaning linked to it and you have 26 of may now again 26 is god's number and 17 means victory okay now what i want to do is explain now from the eclipse these solar eclipse that we had on april the 8th 2024 the great american eclipses okay they cr created an aleph and a tav or completed an aleph and tav you know jesus christ is the alpha and omega or the aleph and tav okay now if you take a look now to may 17th Okay, that is 39 days from the eclipse. And Omer day 24, that was May 18th. That's the 40th day. Now, in my previous videos, I talked about that. I believe, without a doubt, I mean, I, bre I believe strongly that that is the sign of Jonah, the second sign of Jonah. Okay, now, that would make sense. Because 18 means bondage, and you got this is the 40th day, okay? And then if you see in, in my second matrix, you got 9-11, and in my first matrix, there's 9-11. And we know what 9-11 means. That's usually emergency, emergency distress. You know, most people know what 911 is, okay? So I think that's... You know how this is coming together is just amazing and where the 11 is here okay according to the torah calendar 11th day okay homer day 26 and three days later you have the second passover okay and that is the 29th and i wanted to show you something else here so you got 5 25 2021 now that is the anniversary when I received the matrix. Okay, lack of better t words, a divine download. And this is why I've been creating these videos for around two years. It's been three years, but for the first year, I worked on other things that I felt the Lord wanted me to do. And really the last year, especially, I've been creating a lot of videos about the rapture and the tribulation coming. So. But isn't that amazing? You've got two days after the second Passover, okay? That is when the anniversary, when I received this information, okay, or these matrices. And I was born on the second Passover, okay? Now, this blew my mind. Um, I was actually driving uh, for my job, my career. I drive for a living, and this just came to me. Now I remember I've I've done searches on this before for May 7, 1974, the Hebrew calendar, what day that would be, and I remembered that, and I felt the Lord wanted me to check out what May 23rd, 2024 was. Now let me show you the results. It just absolutely blew me away. Now if you take a look here, you've got May 7th, 1974. That's 15th of IR 5734 okay now this is the same site and the uh, there are some other sites that also had the same results but I just kept with Hebcal now again Hebcal Hebrew date count uh, converter May 23rd 2024 so that is what the second Passover is it is the 15th of IR 5784 so and it's exactly 50 years now according to this according to the hebrew calendar i turned 50 the second passover again absolutely incredible just like a jubilee okay 
and by the Gregorian calendar, it's May 7th, 1974 to May 7th, 2024. I'm 50 years old, okay? And again, like Jubilee. And down here, I included, this is from the Torah calendar, May 7th, 1974, the second Passover. Again, it's on the 14th day, Omer day 28. So let me go back. So I just want to go back to the second Passover here. It's Omer day 29. And the day before is Omer day 28. Now I just want to show you the meaning linked to these numbers. The meaning linked to the number 28 is eternal life. And again, I mentioned this earlier, the meaning for 29 is resurrection. And you have the Passover, okay, the second Passover. So I, that is, you know, I feel it is not a coincidence. The Lord has set this up, you know, to happen just like this at this time, okay. And again, you have 41, 42, 43, 44. Now, if you take a look at Revelation chapter 4, verses 4, that is an interesting verse, okay. If this indeed was pointing to something significant, okay. And this is the 45th from the eclipse and the 46th. Now, if you take a look at Isaiah chapter 46, 10, now the Lord declares the end from the beginning. Now, I'm just paraphrasing. Go read the entire verse. But this is the 46th day from the eclipse. Now, YHWH, the tetragram or tetragrammaton for Yahweh, okay, the result in simple geometry is 64. And look at this. Now, if you read from right to left, just like in Hebrew, that would be 46, okay? And look at this. You got 25, May 25th right here. Again, this is the anniversary that I received the matrixes back three years ago, exactly. And 23 is right here, okay? And then you have 8 right here. It's kind of covered up almost, but you have 8 right up here. So you have, you have it, there's H in there's two H's in Yahweh or in the Tetragrammaton. So that's why. Um, but isn't it amazing? Now, I've made a, a lot of videos about John chapter 21, about the 153 fish miracle. And take a look at this. You've got, I felt the Lord wanted me to include this. Now, with my matrixes, I'm going to have to go back and show you. Let me show you something. Now, this is the first part of my matrix. You have the tetragrammaton for Yahweh, Y-H-W-H. And you have 26 plus 3 equals 29. Okay, let me go back. So you got 26 Omer day. You got 1, 2, 3. And that lands on second Passover. But also down here, for May 26, okay, 2024, you got 1, 2, 3. It lands on the 29th of May, which, again, 29 equals resurrection okay and then the 30th means blood testimony or you know jesus christ blood sacrifice and then you have for omer day 30 okay omer day 35 on the 29th and omer day 36 on the may 30th and you have 2021 that was actually the year when i received again this matrix and here is the third anniversary okay right here so that all that that information is there and one of the things i've mentioned in my previous videos maybe once or twice i think that one of the instructions the lord gave me about a week after i received this matrix it was like an audible like i could hear it audible okay there's a difference from hearing it with your Holy Spirit, like this still voice, but this was outside, like this is, you know, outside of me, okay, and it was just like when this information was dictated to me, these matrices, and I, you know, when I got this information, I thought the rapture was going to happen right away, okay, uh, so I kind of went, uh, lack of a better word, berserk, I told over 500 people in my contacts on my phone, 
Um, I almost got fired for, for uh, you know, talking to people. Um, you know, um, you know, some of these people were different religions, and I was, you know, I, I thought I was very um, passive, or I don't think I was aggressive, but uh, I it ruffled a lot of feathers, and uh, yeah, I it was it was a tough time. My family, um, they thought I was, you know, went off the deep end. But I believe so strongly that, you know, I, I got all this information and I didn't know, you know, I had to learn. The Lord has given me a bit here and a bit there. And, you know, the matrices were all came in a very short time. Like, it took about 17, maybe 22 minutes for both of them. So extremely fast. But um, it took me some time to understand, you know, th the process. And... Um, so that's why it's been over three years now. So <laughs> it's it's been an amazing journey, um, that's for sure. And, um, you know, I'm just so appreciative of what the Lord has given me and, you know, what he's showing me. It's, it's absolutely incredible. So anyway, I kind of got off topic a bit. Now, the reason why I feel the Lord, you know, told me he had mercy on me is because I was re wreaking havoc and I wasn't really, you know, doing probably, well, what the Lord wanted me to do, possibly. Um, and he told me it was, I have another 3.5 years, okay? So three years and six months is what I had to go. So, and again, I didn't know if the rapture was going to still happen right now or, you know, a year from now, two years from now, months from now or three, three and a half years from now. And now I'm, 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 just to be clear, what I mean is from May 25th, 2021, when I received this matrix. So, but now I believe that I understand what the Lord wants me to do. And I'm starting to see, you know, he's really walked me through it. And I really believe that we are very close to the rapture and the tribulation of Jacob's trouble starting. And um, what I want to do now is I want to explain this a little bit more. I want to keep this video as short as possible. Uh, so if you take a look from the second Passover, I put one, two, three. Okay. Now I put a circle around the three. And if you take a look here, you have the 26. Again, that's God's number. And um, let's go back to this matrix here. Now from the 26... Okay, this was back May 2021. Now, I'm going to go that same type. 26 plus 3 equals 29. So, again, so you got 1. So, the 26th of May here. You got 1, 2, 3. Okay, and May 30th, that would be the 4th. May 31st, so the very last day of May, that was the 5th. So, what I did was I put a 5 there. Okay, encircled it, and I put one for the second pass, so that's 153, and there's like the 153 fish miracle in John chapter 21, and I've made several videos about that, okay, but take a look at this, I want to show you something again. Now, this is the watch that I modeled after God's golden spiral, and I've made several videos talking about this. One of the watches I created, this is actually one of the first ones. Now, if you take a look, look at this, okay. You have, you have a 5 right here. You got 31 right here. So, you have the 5 and the 3 going into the 5 right here, okay. You have the 1 and a 6 right here for 16. You got 31 right there, Omer Day 31. You have this also falls on the 31. There's 31 there too. You have John, John 3.16. And if you didn't notice it, now look at this. This, again, blew my mind. Now, 50 days from the eclipse was May 28th. Okay. And then I'm just going to skip here to May 31st. That is 50 three days exactly from the eclipse 
like Isaiah 53, like the gospel in the Old Testament, okay? You cannot make this up. You just cannot. It's absolutely incredible. And you have 16 right here. Again, you got 16 right there. You've got four right here. And again, you got John 3.16. You have 9.11. You have 9.11 right there. You've got the 10. Even when you go over here, it's pointing to like the 10. All right. And my newer watches, actually, there's some more details, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Maybe not in the later slides. But if you take a look at you. Got, this, you got the Alpha and Omega right here. The, the Lord wanted put me to put a Alpha and Omega, or Omega, okay, the very last letter in the Greek alphabet. And again, Jesus Christ is the Alpha and Omega, or Alpha and Omega, according to Revelation. And if you take a look here, you have right here, it's the 21st and the 22nd that would line up with Revelation chapter 22, 21, the very last verse in our Bible. Now again, you do not, you cannot make this up. Okay. How this come has come together is only because God's power, God's hand behind the scenes. That is the only way. Now, something else I want to show you too now, when I received this matrix, okay, I was 47 years old too, okay? And there's something else I want to show you. I I was born again in 2017. It was just before the Revelation 12 sign that we believe that happened, okay? In September 23rd, 24th of 2017. And also the Great American Eclipse, that happened, okay? The first part of the solar eclipse that was finished here just in April 8th, 2024. Now, where I was going with that is I was strongly compelled to get rebaptized. Now, I was baptized as an infant, okay, at an infant baptism, okay, but I was never baptized as an adult, okay? So, once I was born again, it was a year later in 2018 where I felt the Lord really wanted me to get baptized. And it was something that was, it seemed like it was totally arranged. Once I agreed to do it, it was actually in fall and I was camping and it was just a spur of the moment. And it happened all in one day. Okay. And I just felt the power of the presence of the Lord and you know, the Holy Spirit. And, um, it was just like the pastor was waiting for me to ask him and and had it all planned for me ahead of time. But anyway, look at this. Take a look at this. 9-16. I was baptized September the 16th of 2018. And that's even falling. Okay, May 18. Okay, eight, even got the 18 here. So you've got that right here. 9-16. 2018 and even the over day is 24 just absolutely mind-boggling and the Lord told me okay 31 means bloodline the Lord said I was a descendant of King David and also I'm a descendant of King James and that is the King James that had the Bible translated okay King James version of the Bible and that is the version of the Bible that the Lord has wanted me to recommend and so that's what I've been doing okay so I just wanted to tell you about how this boat came about now I, I just felt the Lord wanted me to put this boat right here right above the second Passover okay and this net and how these numbers came together the 153, just like the 153 fish miracle recorded in John chapter 21. Now, 153 fish is linked with the gospel, okay? And again, you have that 153 right here, 
in my clock now I or watch now I didn't mention that this watch is around I think it's around two years old now and you know this you know this was ne you know I just created this video now and um, you know I had no idea it's not my intent that any of this would come together like this and if you watch my other videos the same same thing but you also got one five three here too so and you have John again linked with John 316 Isaiah Isaiah 53 um, you know you can't make this up you know this is definitely God behind the scenes you know let's do the power of the Holy Spirit give all credit to the our Lord God Jesus Christ Yeshua Yahweh the great I am the Alpha and Omega the first and the last the Almighty, and there's no one greater, and his number is 26. That was actually dictated to me right from God, right from the messenger or Jesus Christ. So, let me continue. I've, I've got more to show you. Now, I feel the Lord wanted me to include this verse here. Now, this is Proverbs chapter 25, verses 2. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Now, take a look at this. May 25th, you got 25 in Proverbs 25, and it's actually two days from the second Passover. So I just, I thought that was very interesting, and I really felt strongly the Lord wanted me to share this. And for those that watch this video and say, oh, God would not do anything like this. Well, this is just one verse that proves that he does, okay? And, um, you know, I'm just an instrument the Lord has used. And that's it. I'm a servant of the Lord. That, that's what I am. So I'm going to end this part of this video here. And um, I've got more to show you, but I'm going to sh probably show you that on a later date. I really believe that the Passover is still a very high watch time. I don't really think that the second Passover is a even higher watch time. And the reason why I say that is if April the 8th, 2024 was actually the sign of Jonah that Jesus Christ said that there would be before that day, you know, I'm paraphrasing, but if that is the case, then the second Passover, I feel, would fall into place, would make a lot more sense. Because the 40th day, just like in, you know, in Jonah's time, it was 40 days. They were warned for 40 days. That'd be May 18th. So it had to be May 18th or later. So that's why I feel that, uh, I mean, there's other reasons too, but um, that's one big reason why I think second Passover is a more likely candidate possibly for the rapture. Now what I can say and I have no doubt you know, in saying this that we have found the actual correct calendar. Now we know the feast days. I think the days or the calendar has been restored that we know. We know when the Passover is. We know when the second Passover is. We know when the Feast of Trumpets is and the Day of Atonement and the other feast days. And I'm going to have other videos, um, Lord permitting, um, all about other videos talking about that. But um, I just want to share one more Bible verse and I'm going to cut this video. Now I want to read Isaiah chapter 46, verses 10, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure now again i pose a question is the lord declaring the end from the beginning in this video time will tell thank you so much for watching i love you all i'm gonna have some videos coming out shortly again time permitting the lord permitting so thank you so much i love you all
I'm not hidden There's never been a moment you were forgotten You are not hopeless Though you have been broken, your innocence stolen I hear you whisper underneath There is no distance We cannot be covered Over and over You're not defenseless I'll be your shelter I'll be your armor I hear